Steven Crowder's an idiot, changed my mind. But in the meantime, <laughs> in the meantime, uh, I will make my case for why he's an idiot. So as we know, uh, Donald Trump looks to be losing the general election. And there have been all these ridiculous accusations of voter fraud and how the Democrats are allegedly trying to steal the election, which is kind of hilarious because if a political party were stealing an election, I don't think they would do it with razor thin margins. But anyway, I digress. Uh, the <laughs> right winger. Yeah, no, no, don't. I'm sorry, I'm going to interrupt. Um, I've never understood that. From day one, when we're covering the election, they're like, oh, gee, they're going to cheat us. They're going to make it really vague and maybe take it four days later uh, by a razor thin margin. Well, if they're cheating, why don't they just take it right away and say that it was a comfortable margin? Be uh, <laughs> it's just, they don't need logic. Logic not required. So let's proceed. So, uh, so he shared a video um, of a mysterious white van delivering a suspicious package of votes to a counting center. Okay, uh, and it turned out later that it was a cameraman using a wagon to move his camera because he was tired. <laughs> um, so I think we have the video of the converse. No, we don't have the video, but it's okay. So uh, here are the details. So it seems the story first appeared on a right wing website uh, oh, with shocking. this headline, video, wagons, suitcases and coolers roll into the Detroit voting center at 4 a.m. Then there's a little, little sign that says updated. Poll watcher raises alarms over suspicious activity in Detroit during early morning. And so the right wing <laughs> echo chamber, of course, picked this up and made it appear as though this man was delivering ballots in an attempt to help Biden win the election. And so here's an example of what Crowder tweeted. This only creates more questions about votes and ballot security concerns in Michigan. And apparently we have a video on this, so let's take a look at how they covered it. Okay, so let's go to the videos. This is in uh, in Detroit. Uh, these are the ballots, but all these ballots for Santa Claus. It's the dead of night. Yeah. The polls have been closed for hours and hours. Where are these ba Where are these? And they were supposed to from? stop counting. That's what they said on air. Right, and what, what are they doing at this particular moment that they need these type of containers Okay, at this particular see. time. See? Wow. It's getting something out of there. This is one guy. And wow. you're going to see wagons and That's other a wheel -wed wagon. strange yeah. implements. So this is either a horror movie or something worse. Wow. I can't, I mean, you just, you wouldn't be able to trust that just because some ballots could fly off the back. So, so think of the, think of the different points here where there's no security. There's no security. First off, we have no idea how these things got into the van. There's no one there right now escorting him from the van. There's no one meeting him as he brings it into there. Like you would think that there should be a human conveyor yeah. belt of people. It should look like American Gangster when they're uh, when they're all uh, cutting the cocaine naked so that you're sure they don't have anything in their pockets. And this guy's just walking in. There isn't any kind of official there for. For hundreds of yards. Um, mm, strange implements. Yes, no, strange implements. I mean, okay, no, no, I, I got it. I'm sorry. I'm going to do what you do to me. I, I'm going to talk first <laughs> because I have a lot to say here. Um, Go. Right wingers love to show you videos that like don't show you what they're claiming it shows you. Like, what was that? You can't see anything, and they're like, "Oh, they're ballots. They're ballots. It's strange implements." What? <laughs> No, like they you say can't you see can't anything. see anything. Then why are you showing us the video? <laughs> it's so dumb. So while they're having this ridiculous conversation, um, reporter Ross Jones of Detroit's WXYZ chimed in on Twitter, and here's what he wrote: A conservative news, uh, a conservative news site reports catching a man wheeling in suspicious equipment to the Detroit Convention Center, implying it was used to steal ballots. The ballot thief was my photographer. He was bringing down equipment for our 12 hour shift. Aha! Uh -huh. Wait, what? <laughs> and then here's what, uh, here's what it actually looked like. There's a little screenshot of the. Uh, uh huh. Well, that's a convenient <laughs> thing to put 10 to 20 ballots in. It's just so <laughs> dumb. What? Come on, guys. Come on. And then, no, there's the no way, come on. The Crowder uh, I know. fans are probably the, literally the dumbest people on the planet. Crowder appeals to people like this guy from Nevada who decided to make a complete fool of himself. Take a look. As I mentioned, we are not prepared to give that number. The Biden Troy family steal the election. The media is covering up. The Biden Troy family steal this election. 
election. The media is covering it up. The Biden crime family stealing this election. The media is covering it up. We want our freedom for the world. Give us our freedom, Joe Biden. Your Biden is covering up this election. He's stealing it. Where were we? What was the last question? <laughs> That's an election official in Nevada. He's doing a press conference to give everyone an update on where they're at with counting the ballots. This guy with a barbecue and beer shirt like shows I like the up. Shirt. <laughs> I'm here for barbecue and beer. Totally. Who doesn't love barbecue and beer? No, I love it. Like cut off sleeves, like rah, the burn of crime family. <laughs> this guy looks rational. <laughs> I like how he pulled freedom. down freedom his freedom mask. Too. Like he pulled down his mask for this like epically stupid rant. About the yeah, I like that he bothered to put on a mask that he then <laughs> pulled down when he was screaming spittle into the air. Um, only way that shirt gets better is barbecue beer and bacon. <laughs> um, so uh, look, uh, my favorite is the wagon. Video wagon, <laughs> rosebud. <laughs> they say words like as if they mean things, right? And they're and I'm insulting his audience there, which uh, looking forward to their reaction. Um, they mean smart. Me think wagon definitely means evidence. A suitcase, also suitcase, also cooler. Okay, um, and <laughs> you're supposed to finish the thought. Oh, right, and I have evidence. Of ballots being put in said suitcase or roller or wagon, just showing a wagon. I mean, here, uh, iPad. <laughs> Imagine if we did a show that way, and everybody's like, "Mm-hmm." So Trump's trying to steal the election. iPad video. <laughs> <laughs> but if you're a Trump voter, you're a Crowder fan. You don't need facts and you don't need logic. So they're just like. Aha, uh -huh. I wonder if they go around doing that. Like if they have a fight at home with like a, a, their husband or wife and they're like, oh yeah, wagon. Another one's like Sharpie, crayon, <laughs> roller. Victory, 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 victory. <laughs> <laughs> From now on, if you know, if there's ever a, a, a situation where I'm not sure what to say, I'll just be like, "Oh yeah, wagon." <laughs> <laughs> All right, good job, good investigative journalism there, showing rando video uh, mm -hmm. with no evidence at all and immediately being debunked within minutes. Nice work. Thanks for watching the Young Turks. Really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.